Hi, I'm Larissa Swellman, and I'm the University Marketing Manager for TI's Microcontroller Products. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the MSP430 Launchpad, TI's most popular development kit to date, and the number one feedback I get from education about this platform. About two and a half years ago, this platform came out, so it's still relatively new. And to date, we have over a quarter million of them in the ecosystem. So it's been a very, very popular development kit. So universities and educational institutions are actually a big part of that quarter million number. And the feedback, the number one complaint I get is why would TI take a platform that was targeted to students and put mail headers on it? Mail headers are difficult to breadboard and prototype with, and they require special wires. So why wouldn't we do something simple like female headers? And um, I'm hoping I can answer that question a little bit. Originally, when we released the launch pad, TI was targeting existing engineers. In such, in version 1.4, which is what I'm holding right here in my hand, there actually were no headers soldered onto the board. What we required was that we had the engineer use the headers that we included in the box, and they had to solder uh, the headers onto the board should they need them. We actually got feedback from different groups that forcing people to solder a board before being able to use it was actually hurting us. And so the decision was made that we needed to include headers pre-soldered onto the board. Mail headers were selected because at the time we only had one booster pack out on the market. And that booster pack required uh, what fe had female headers on it and required male headers to be soldered on the board. There wasn't any pushback because uh, some of the feedback that we got through some of our channel partners was that you could use existing logic analyzers and probes a lot easier on male pins than you could on uh, female pins. So we went forward with the male headers on the MSV430 launch pad revision. Since the new version, since 1.5, which uh, is the current shipping version, the launch pad has increased exponentially in popularity. And there's been well over 30 different booster packs that developed to create, and we've created the launch pad ecosystem. In addition, there's been the C2000 launch pad that also has the male headers, as well as the Stellaris launch pad that has the male headers on top female on the bottom. And so we're pretty we're pretty sure that the male headers on the launch pad are most likely here to stay. A few of the workarounds that I've noticed uh, going to see different universities, the first and the easiest one actually is by getting male to female uh, jumper wires for your breadboard. These are ideal because they don't require any modifications, but they're not really available in most labs and they're not in those neat little starter packs that you get uh, as the Seed Studio Companion Kit. So uh, I found uh, some links and I'll include them where you can buy these, but you can usually get a pack of 100 of them from Mauser for under $13. Uh, SparkFun does sell them as well as you can get them on Adafruit and uh, make the Maker Shed, but you're looking for male to female wires. The second one that seems to work very well, and I've seen this, is using female to female wires. These are a little more common than the male to female wires, and you can usually find them in some of the kits. So the easiest modification I see is that you take the breadboard wire, most students have these, if they have a breadboard kit, a little pack of wires, and you just adapt it into the female wire and you can plug this into a breadboard. And so you pretty much made a male to female um, jumper wire. So the other one is actually using uh, these, these tear away, these break away uh, headers, and you can actually adapt the breadboard. So take a breadboard and you can put the, I'll break this down so it's smaller. You can actually put the, actual different breadboard. You can actually put the actual um, headers onto the breadboard 
And now you can use the female wire uh, to go over to the watch pad. So as I plug it, plug it in right here. Okay, go over to the launch pad. So the best ones that work on this particular one are actually extended headers, and I'll try and include the part number on there, but extended headers are a little bit longer, so they'll go all the way to six millimeters into the breadboard and still have plenty of pin left for you to uh, put the female header on, female wire on. But the last one uh, is using mail wires, and mail wires are a lot more common, especially in the starter kits. I do know that there are some, there are some nice starter kits for the Arduino, which is based on female, a female header pin. So with mail wires, we found a workaround that was actually kind of interesting, is that the launch pad ships with, uh, the launch pad ships with a set of female headers. And these female headers actually, right here, if you get two sets of them, the launch pad only ships, unfortunately, with only one, one set, but there's two in there, so you'll need to get another set of them. But if you actually take a look at them, they're slightly off-center, and them being a little bit off-center means that you can actually put them together and connect them so they're stacking and this is uh, how they look stacking and they don't move and you're you can turn them into um, you can turn them into um, one solid unit and I actually have some that I've squeezed together and so when you make this back-to-back -back female um, adapter you can now take and grab both of them I've already pre-made some of these so yes so when you put them back to back and you squeeze them tight, you can actually put them onto the launch pad, onto the headers. And now you've adapted them to be female. And you can use the standard male connectors uh, to your breadboard. So I looked extensively on Mauser, DigiKey, Newark, Polu, SparkFun, Adafruit, as many as I could. I've called lots of customer services, and I, I asked, looked and searched for gender adapters, back-to-back -back female connectors, extended sockets, and I couldn't find anything. So if anyone has any references or anything that I should look into or part number, I might have a shot at getting it included in the Launchpad box, so I'm very interested if you can find one. So that's kind of what you have for no, no, no soldering options. There are a few soldering options, and I'll include those links. So the first one is that there are booster pack adapter boards, and I have a couple with me. Uh, one of them right here is the Proto board. You can find it on 430. And you can choose what, you can choose kind of what adapters you put on it, but you will need to solder on your headers for this. And so by soldering this on now, I have female connectors that I can jump to my breadboard or I can just use this proto area. The other one is that you can actually desolder, you can actually take off the launch pad you can actually take off the launch pad headers by desoldering it. And um, if you have a rework station or if you have if you have a rework station or if you have um, you know a soldering iron, some pliers and you want to you want to try it out, it's kind of intensive, but um, it's a lot harder to desolder than it is to solder on. But you can do it and we do have a tutorial there um, done by one of our apps engineers to help out and you can follow that if you're interested. The last option is a little resource intensive and I would advise against it unless you really are gung-ho on it, but you can actually make your own breadboard wires and I'll include a tutorial on how to do the female wires. It, it Really for the type of money and the amount of effort that you have to go into it, I can't really see a real reason why you would do it rather than just go buy the wires, uh, except for unless you wanted something non-standard. So my example here is that 
I had a tutorial for uh, young girls learning programming, so I wanted all my breadboard wires to be pink and purple and white so it would appeal to them. But it takes a lot longer than it looks to make your own breadboard wires, especially the female ending ones. But I'll also include the link for that in the rest of the I'm positive that there are a lot other solutions, but I've only been able to cover a few that I've seen so far. So if you have any to add or suggestions, please let us know. There's comments on the attached link on the blog post. So I've also looked through a lot of the starter kits and found a lot of them are targeted for Arduino. Um, and Arduino has female headers and so and it's been around a lot longer. So if anyone has a kit that either I can dictate the um, what connectors are, what breadboard wires are in there, or if um, there is a starter kit based around the launch pad, we'd be very, very interested in hosting that on the university webpage uh, as a companion to the launch pad. And lastly, you have to give us feedback. I mean, this is how the decisions to change the headers from version 1.4 to 5 came to be, but the most vocal people actually got their requests fulfilled, and that was to put the male headers on. So posting your feedback on the product pages or uh, on our forums really helps us review um, the needs and concerns and help us revise and improve our products. So please, 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 especially the university audience, um, please post your feedback so uh, we can always take it into account. So help, hopefully this was helpful to you and um, I answered the question why we chose male headers and some solutions you can if that's not the correct choice for you and hopefully it helps. So thank you.